Don't pin the playhead. If your computer isn't the latest, you might have experienced issues with recording quality. I have a way to help fix that problem in this edition of Stuart's Audacity Tips. I love the emails I get from readers of SAT, some with questions and some commenting on how their workflow has improved based on using one of the tips, and some with both. Share this tip with a fellow Audacity user. I bet you'll get some love too. Today's tip is a quick one, but if you're interested, you can read on for the why as well. Here's the TLDR. If you're experiencing dropouts, that is, little stutters in your recording where there's no sound, make sure the pinned play record head option in the transport, transport options menu does not have a check mark. This isn't the only thing you can do in Audacity to improve performance, but it's one of the big ones. If you want to know why, read on. A pinned play record head simply means that instead of moving left to right across the screen as you play or record audio, the head, the vertical line that marks where you are in the audio, stays in the middle of the screen and the timeline and audio scroll horizontally past the head. It's just a difference in how the timeline is displayed. It's included mostly for people who come from analog recording and tend to think in terms of tape moving past a playhead. Here's an animation of two Audacity recording sessions. The one on the top does not have the playhead pinned. The one on the bottom does. Notice how with the play record head pinned, much of the screen is moving. The entire timeline scrolls across the screen as the recording head stays pinned in the center of the screen. With the head not pinned though, only the head moves. The rest of the timeline stays still until the head hits the right side of the screen, then the whole screen refreshes once. This is a lot less work for the computer to do. The less work the computer has to do for any other task, the more able it is to devote itself to recording clean audio. Here's a little reward for reading the whole tip. You can also turn pinning on and off with the little green down triangle at the left end of the time scale. Its menu has an option for pinned playhead. When the head is pinned, that triangle looks like a push pin.